What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good day to you. And the NBA on TNT. What's the latest in the rumors? We're going to talk about that in the segment. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click that follow button. I did a segment a couple of weeks ago saying that the rumors were that TNT has lost the NBA. Matter of fact, Bill Simmons on his podcast, former ESPN personality, said that it's a done deal. That NBC has uh, outbid TNT by the tune of two and a half billion dollars to broadcast NBA games. Now, according to to rumors and reports, that TNT has not even made a counter offer, but they did strike a deal with ESPN and College Football Playoffs on a, co- a five year contract starting this season, where they will air two first round games. It's a sub license deal, and actually TNT Sports, I don't think they've ever really got it into college football, so that is something different. Charles Barkley, who is part of the best in-studio show on TNT inside the NBA, he was on the Dan Patrick show just a couple of days ago, and Dan Patrick would ask him, what's going on over there at TNT? What's happening, Charles? And Charles, in his most outspoken way, did not hold his tongue. He told him what his thoughts were on this whole TNT uh, NBA situation. I'm going to let you hear it. It's a, somewhat of a lengthy sound bite, but we're going to let you. I'm going to play that here. Then I want you to kind of give me your thoughts on this whole situation in the comment section. Make sure, again, you like the video. And uh, let's talk about it later. But again, here's Chuck on his thoughts on what's happening and what will happen with inside the NBA. I'm Kendrick, the sports guy. We'll see you on the next report. Here's Chuck. I'm out. Peace. Uh, morale sucks, plain and simple. You know, I just feel so bad for the people I work with, Dan. You know, you know these people have families, and uh, I just really feel bad for them right now. You know, these people I work with, they've screwed this thing up clearly, and uh, we don't have zero idea what's going to happen. I don't feel good, I'm not going to lie, especially when they came out yesterday and said we bought college football. I was like, well, damn, they could have used that money to buy the NBA. Yeah, but it, it says yeah. TNT Sports added college football playoff games in a five-year deal, their uh, licensing deal with ESPN. Maybe that's why they're buying this, because they don't, you know, the money they were going to use on the NBA, they got to do something with. Yeah, that's what that's the first thing came to my mind. We've never had college football, it never been involved with college football. And I'm like, wait a minute, shouldn't we be spending every dime we got to keep the NBA? So morale sucks, to be honest with you, Dan. I was wondering about this. I don't know if you guys have talked about this, but you and Shaq and Kenny and Ernie, how about just form a production company and continue to shoot, continue to do the inside the NBA? Hire the personnel, keep the personnel there, continue to do it in Atlanta, and then you're able to sell that to NBC or Amazon and say, here, you already got the best studio show ready to go, keep everybody in place, but you guys own your own production company. Well, I've talked to the guys about everybody signing with my production company because I have my own production company. And uh, I want to, I I would love to do that if, if we lose it. But I have definitely had, actually somebody suggested that to me, to be honest with you, on the internet. So why don't Charles Barkley sign these three guys, four guys total, this his production company and sell it? I'm like, that's a great idea. Yeah. But like I say, you know, we're just sitting back waiting on these people to figure out what they're gonna do. You know, you know, my two favorite wines are Ingle Nook and Opus. And these clowns I work for, they've turned us into Ripple and Boons Farm and Thunderbird. <laughs> like, we got the best studio show. We won. We just, and it's so funny, we just won the best studio show, but these fools turn us from Ingle Nook and Opus into damn Boons Farm and Ripple. It's crazy. You're actually angry. I am.